hello everyone so this pitch is uh, about uh, the human firewall so that's me sanjay sharma as an introduction okay so uh, before i start i want to talk about pathway communications as you can see you know we simplify cyber security uh, we present and provide services in a very simplistic manner and this is what you going to see something in next few minutes now when we talk about human firewall why it is important as you know for any organization when you are looking for protecting it against cyber attacks you are looking at a layered defense model you start with the mission critical assets you look at data security application security endpoint security network security perimeter security and then there's a whole encompassing humans right who are part, essential part of security and when the hacker or the bad guy is looking at attacking your critical infrastructure that uh, person is trying to come from outside looking at perimeter network endpoint and trying to reach your critical mission assets now a typical solution would be to protect and have controls at each layer right we are talking about humans humans their role and how they they play an important role to protect your infrastructure let's talk about what's happening in the cyber threat landscape we all know that what is trending ransomware we are all shit uh, we are all scared about it and we are worried about it there are cloud security breaches all the applications are moving to the cloud with a saas application as pass that kind of infrastructure and there is a worry around the security for that there are uh, operational technology vulnerabilities which are always outdated or not caught up and then there are supply chain attacks when you are dealing with vendors you are dealing with different technologies they bring in the risks along with that that opens your infrastructure uh, to uh, cyber attacks what the hackers are doing they are using artificial intelligence automation they are having they are trying to do phishing with machine learning they have password crackers using ai model right they'll continuously uh, keep uh, crack, trying to crack the passwords and they will work an algorithm so that your alerts cannot pick it up you know they'll space it uh, from a time perspective and then there are this artificial intelligence bots which are always crawling crawling your infrastructure your web applications and looking for vulnerabilities so what is the solution i think the solution is yes we need to have a we have we need to have technology we need to have technology at every layer of uh, defense and that should help us right but then there is a human element which is so important for protecting your assets and i'll tell you why when you talk about technology right or uh, a solution you're looking at two things one is automation and the second is artificial intelligence uh so this actually brings in some complexity around the solutions for a typical enterprise if you uh, look at it every enterprise or organization has at least 45 uh, security tools and some uh, organizations may have up to 80 security tools and it's something you know you, if you think about managing it you need at least 45 to 80 people to manage it and manage it well so this this does bring in protection but is it enough let's talk about it now when we are talking about artificial intelligence and automation what are the advantages you know they they definitely have advantages over human you know the technology it is bringing in a lot of things which humans can't do it brings in the speed it brings in consistency and precision uh, it can multitask it can it has endurance uh, it has uh, in uh, uh, finite memory it has no em uh, emotions it can be scaled and it's it's analyzed very pretty logically and when you use technology you know you buy the the tools and you you have the whole uh, security stack you think you are protected but is it true you're using technology using automation artificial intelligence and you know uh, that's that's what the thought is so what is the concept of human firewall right uh you must have heard 
that we always say humans are the weakest link i would put it that if you use humans in a proper manner and you consider them as a firewall then they become the strongest link to protect against any cyber attack so common belief is that you know uh, we will uh, the people they will uh, fall prey to phishing uh, attempts they'll click on some link and you know credentials will get compromised right so what what is the solution yes there are solutions but still you have to have people trained there is social engineering somebody spoofs a call get some credentials out of you they are able to get into your infrastructure then a uh, lot of people they make mistakes right even if uh, inadvertently they'll speak about something if they are not supposed to speak or uh, or even the technical people or the it team you know they when we are working on applications they leave some gaps if they are managing firewall or security tools they will not configure it properly just not that they want to do it because they just make mistakes right we are humans so the solution which everyone says is just you know get them trained and make sure that they are aware of what is to be done and then we'll be protected but what protects the organization and in any organization you have a lot of people right you have your own employees you have contractors you have vendors you have it teams and then you have visitors and and then people who are eyeing your company right uh, for any reason and then you have security tools which we talked about you know 45 to 80 security tools in an organization and then you have governance so you have security tools but you don't have processes you don't have procedures you don't know uh, how to uh, do things properly even though if you have all the documentation you have procedures are you rehearsing it practicing it right which which ensures that everything is being done properly if you have all these things together then you can say that you are protected and what is the most essential component of it yes you can have 45 80 best of the breed security tools but if you don't have the people right the right people with with right authorization and right training and and uh, uh, the, the the way to do right things and then if you don't have governance around it then those tools are worth nothing right so while organizations uh, tend to you know keep buying tools just because the like vendors like us will come and we'll tell you that this is what you need and you'll say okay i don't on the stack i don't on the stack and then it's increasing complexity why because there are a lot of tools which overlap in their functions and the features and also there are integration issues you buy some security technology it doesn't integrate with other so that the challenge always stays although they may be the best of the breed with automation artificial intelligence and all the best features but that may not be enough to protect you so that's why the human layer becomes essential to protect your assets and while at the organization you looking at you know people you want to make sure that everyone has security clearance right it's normally the tendency is okay it teams that's fine you get the security team clearance for the people who are touching your critical jewels or the critical assets but what about security for all the people right what background they come and all that then obviously we covered awareness and training whatever is happening is it even auditing is somebody checking it yes we get the audit done but internal employees you know how do you audit what they are doing and how they are doing and how well they are doing it you need smes you talk about governance you want to test everything whatever is in put in place right because it can break the systems you need people who will configure the tool and continuously keep refining the tools so that you are protected better when there is an incident yes you can have tools for the workflows right but it is a very complex environment whenever an incident happens whenever ransomware happens right a security tool will help you or any tool will help you yes you can have a workflow you can assign the tickets and you can automate that thing but at the end of it it's a people who have to act and make sure that you are able to recover in right time and then uh, talking about security monitoring and analysis so what is the message here the message here is yes you get the best of the breed tools right which may integrate which may not integrate which may have overlapping functions but the bottom of thing is that you need the people you need the people who are either your employees your it teams or your security folks but you need them 
to manage everything well. If you want to use people, while you can use all the people for the business functions, for your critical security functions, you need experts with all those requirements which, we, which I mentioned in previous slide, right? Security clearance, SMEs, uh, auditing, understanding the tool. You need all that to be delivered by experts. A lot of organizations can hire a lot of folks, right? But there's a lot job rotation and then they are always learning on the job and they, when the tool changes, then there is another challenge. So what you need to do is either you build a very strong team, which is encompassing everything and they will be able to protect you or you leverage uh, managed security service providers. And it is, it is, it has, it has a lot of value. So I think this is pretty standard. A lot of organizations are already subscribing to my uh, managed security service provider, which, which gives this ben benefits 24 seven monitoring, scalability, cost effectiveness. Uh, you know, you're able to meet your compliance and regulation requirements. You're able to focus on your core business while, you know, there's a peace of mind. That's all there with all MSPs. MSPs. I really want to pitch you pathway communications, right? Like I, sh I shared with you, our message is cyber security simplified. We always do everything very simplistically in a business friendly manner. And we make sure that you have a peace of mind and you can leave everything on us. We have customized offering. What does that mean? That we will work with you to build a solution and a service which is right for your environment, which is very much contextualized. We are not selling a cookie cutter model to all uh, our clients. We have SMEs, we are certified experts. We use latest tools and technologies. Yes, we use artificial intelligence, we use automation, but then more than that, we have experts who are able to use those technologies to the best, to deliver the best. We are very friendly with uh, small and medium business businesses, typically because uh, small and medium businesses, they have very small teams and they need end-to-end -end solution. That's what our last point is, that we will bring in end-to-end -end solutions for you, uh, for all your security needs, if you're a small organization. And then we also bring in cyber insurance. So the cyber insurance is something, uh, you know, you, every organization needs because of regulatory requirements or for their uh, uh, risk appetite, right? They want to reduce their risk. So when you go for cyber insurance, you want to make sure that your cyber controls or security controls are also there. So we act as, uh, we'll act as your agents to make sure you have the adequate security. And we'll also uh, bring you secure, uh, cyber insurance because we have partnered with a lot of uh, carriers which can help us to get you uh, cyber insurance at a very good rate. So just to uh, end the, the conversation, Security is a process, it's not a product, right? So, which involves people and people who have to do it repeatedly and who should be experts. And the other um, quote is, only amateurs, amateurs attack machines, professionals target people. So, if you are really concerned about security, while well, you're investing a lot of money on your security tools, you should look at what you want to do on the people side, right? Within your inter internal teams, and when you're leveraging MSSPs, what kind of skill set or what value you want to bring out from them. And that is what is going to protect your organization. Thank you.